Hi there, this is Alan from Market Dojo. I just want to show you how quick and easy it is to set up uh, an RFQ. I'm in the sandpit now, and in the sandpit you can act as a host or a supplier. It's completely free to use. Uh, I'm going to create a new event, although I could clone a previous event. So uh, let's create this new event and call it, uh, let's call it Laptops. Um, and you can give yourself a questionnaire, so let's call it uh, terms. Um, so we're going to say if they agree to our terms and conditions. Uh, and we're, you can add us up to five questionnaires. Uh, you can score them, uh, weight them. I'm just going to make this one a PQQ, pre-qualification questionnaire. And I'm also going to uh, add uh, an RFQ on there, which is where uh, you can collect pricing. So uh, I'm not going to wait, although you could do that, and you can run an auction afterwards if you want it. But we're just going to create a very quick RFQ here. So we've got a questionnaire first of all, and I'm going to make this one uh, very simple. Do you agree to our terms? Uh, there we go. Uh, you can edit all the kind of attributes, and I'm going to kick them out if they say no to that question. Many different types of questions you can have. Um, on the next step, we're going to create lots. You can create an advanced lot with line items and components, but I'm just going to create a simple uh, lot here, you can, which is just a lot. Um, and no line items or components in this, but uh, for a very simple RFQ, it does the job. You can have the current price, which is optional, that you measure the savings, and the qualification price, which is an entry price for suppliers. And you can upload all of this via Excel as well. Uh, next, we're going to add documents, and all these things are tracked, and suppliers can upload documents as well. Uh, in this circumstance, I'm just going to upload from our desktop, call it Terms version 1, include it in the invitation. Perfect. And the final step, we're going to add suppliers. Uh, to add suppliers, you can do it from the database, your own database that you can create, or um, by email address, because we're in the sandpit, we have to use the sandpit suppliers. So I'm just going to add those there. And next thing we're going to do is just make the event live, and emails will go out to the uh, suppliers. So and that's all there is in creating an event. Thank you very much.